This is my final setup for the uh, incubator for Bob White quail eggs. I have eggs coming tomorrow, so uh, I put this through a, a dry run uh, to make sure everything is working properly. Uh, just to go over a few things, of course, the um, temperature controller. Up top here I have a uh, little spout to fill the humidifier I have inside to uh, easier to maintain the humidity level. The pan with water and towels uh, in the water just wasn't enough to raise the humidity above uh, 25 percent. Plus the towel sitting in there, a chance of getting moldy and smelling uh, so it's better so I'll show you my better to use a humidifier and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, wiring here and let's go here and open up the door while the lights are on. So I took this crane uh, humidifier. I, I removed the tank off of it actually. Uh, the little Coke can there is on top of the the ultrasonic um, uh, well, I don't know what you'd really call it, but that's the one that uh, makes the uh, uh, produces the humidity and like a fog. I don't know if you can see a little the the steam or the mist coming out of the top. Uh, but I had to put the can there because it splashes a lot. Then it wanted uh, getting the wood chips wet. I already had I already dumped water in there, so I had to remove everything and dry it out. Uh, but that's how that worked. And then the tube comes down actually from the top. Uh, to fill that with water, I have to you know uh, monitor that uh, closely every uh, you know half a day uh, for six hours, and um, have the fan, the egg turner. Uh, you might not be able to see, but two 150 watt uh, 821 lamps. For gaps, I put on some weather stripping on the doors to seal this up. And I uh, set the uh, thermostat for 99.5. Uh, I may have to lower it to 99 because the egg, uh, where the egg rack is, uh, it's, it, with the door shut, it's about 101, a little bit above. I had it set at 100, but it was running 102. So uh, I'll rely on that. Uh, thermometer in there at April air thermometer with humid humidistat on it and uh, uh, back there in the corner if you can see is where I have the sensor for the uh, thermostat uh, try to get back there where the eggs are so uh, and of course I do have over here some vent holes fresh air vent holes if I need to and I can untape the other three holes but there's plenty of fresh air uh, getting in. You don't want a whole lot because then it'll, it'll cool down the uh, inside of the box. And thanks for looking. We'll uh, get you another video once the eggs are close to hatching or start hatching.